Hey, what up? This is Mr. Trigger coming to you from Skid Row Tattoo in downtown Los Angeles. I'm going to be bringing you on tattoo stories from some of the sickest artists in the game, brought to you from Sanction TV and Maker Studio. Each week, we're going to show you these artists' best ink on celebrity clientele, all the way to homies in the hood. My name is Trigger Quintanar. Uh, we have a studio called Thursday Studios. Uh, we're in Santa Fe Springs. It's a pirate studio. We specialize in uh, Chicano style, you know, single needle tattoo. Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have Pine Gonzalez and uh, we have uh, Greg Greg Mayorga. He's a uh, he's a really really good uh, artist, really good tattooer. And uh, we also have uh, uh, William William, uh, my my brother and uh, Rudy. Rudy Reese, or they're both apprenticing. Right now we have a tattooer from Costa Rica. He's a, he's a really good tattooer, great artist. His name is Alex Nunez, and he's guest buying right now with us. And that's what uh, we want to in the future, like bring like more artists from, you know, friends that we have from all over the world, like want to guest spot over here. I was born in Mexico City, and I grew up in uh, Long Beach. We moved to, uh, so a lot of me when I was like seven, seven years old. Yeah, my, my mom and my dad, we, we grew up in a, actually a single, single uh, room house, you know, when I was a little kid. Well, I started tattooing when I was like 14 years old. Um, and since I started tattooing, Jack Rudy's always been a big inspiration for, you know, for me since, since I started tattooing. I knew some of the guys that used to work at Tattoo Land, and they uh, asked me to cover some shifts for them. At first, and then uh, I wasn't I wasn't working at, at at a shop at a time, so they asked me to work full time, and I was like super exactly. super happy. That was like my you know my dream, working for Jack Lagoon. Eric Eric Inspire One. We're we're partners with this this place. Uh, he had this place uh, already, and uh, we partnered up like maybe like a year ago, and we've been working on this place together, like you know, making it look you know. Uh, you know, for us to be comfortable. I like tattooing, uh, like a lot of realistic stuff. Uh, I do a lot of uh, religious images, a lot of statues. I, I think it just looks like amazing on, on skin. Like it translates very well on skin. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of culture stuff. I do a lot of culture. And my own like personal drawings, I do a lot of culture stuff. Like a lot of Chicano style stuff, girls, a lot of skulls. Yeah, just stuff like that, like more, more religious stuff too, but mainly like uh, culture, like a lot of culture. Our culture, we have a lot of style, and I think it impacts the whole world. Just uh, the way you live, the way you talk, the way just the way you are. And you see it like from Europe, Japan, like it just... I just love our culture. Exactly. Uh, I just trip out our house. Like, these uh, companies, the big companies will, you know, contact me to, to do something for them. And it's just, I'm, I'm very grateful. Uh, I, I never thought that tattooing was going to take me anywhere. My mom, when I used to tattoo, when I was little, when I used to tattoo in the, in, uh, in the garage, like, my mom used to be like super mad when I used to tattoo all my friends. and. My friends' parents used to like chase us, and now like and you know I never I never thought it was gonna take me anywhere because like, um, it was looked at as, as a as a bad thing I was tattooing. Like, like I always felt kind of like like I had to you know hide it you know, when I was tattooing, and I was like man, I trip out. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Uh, spending time with the family. Uh, like spending time with the family, travel. Um, exactly as it was a hundred fifty. Artwork, paint, draw, um, and uh, I play play music too. Exactly as it was. Like watercolor, uh, pencil, and the drawings. I do a lot of that stuff. Um, and most of the stuff is like for commissions, like uh, or projects. Uh, a lot of that stuff that I do. And. Uh, when I'm not tattooing, I'm sketching for, for, for the tattoos also. Putting like artwork on the skin is like artwork that walks and talks. And, you know, uh, people ask about it and they can talk back. 
so you know what it is, what it means. I did my first tattoos on, uh, um, and I did them with, you know, like homemade style. And I see them, I see them, you know, uh, I still see them. And, and they'll you know, ask me, hey, you know, so when are you going to fix it? Like, nah, man, you got to keep it how, how it is. I was like, you know, one of the first pieces of, you know, that I did, like, you got to keep it. And it that, actually, that piece is worth more money than right now. This <laughs> is a classic. <laughs> exactly as it was 150 million years ago. This is exactly as it was 150 million years ago. The Black Lagoon.